Welcome to Listening Multiple Choice Single Correct, the introduction session. Let's go ahead and see what this question type is about and what are the things that we need to keep in mind to get a good score at this. So the basics, you'll be asked two to three questions, right? You'll hear an audio and then you have to answer a question based upon that audio. You'll be given a number of options and you have to pick one option from the options that have been given to you. There'll be a five second countdown before which the audio starts playing. So please use the five seconds wisely and use that time to look at the question and the options. That way, you know, once the audio starts playing, uh, you can focus on the specific information uh, that's needed for that particular question. This is what the screen looks like. Um, you'll have an audio box at the top, you know, which has your volume, which shows uh, how much time is left before the audio starts playing and has a progress bar which tells you know uh, the progress of that audio uh, after that you'll find the question and then the options so before the audio starts playing just read the question and the options quickly get some idea of you know what you are expected to do and then with that in mind start listening to the audio all right this is a test of your listening primarily so that's what you will get uh, the score for but in some ways, it's also a test of your reading ability. So, you know, you have to be able to read and understand what the question is, okay? Uh, and also the options. To get a good score at this, these are the things uh, I would like you to keep in mind. So before the audio begins, as I said earlier too, quickly read the question and the options. Take some notes. Don't try to write down everything. Just, you know, enough words that you think are important and that will help you remember what you just heard. Uh, focus on understanding the theme of the audio, right? So as the speaker is talking about, you know, try to identify what the main points are. And uh, if you have already read the question, then you also know that, you know, what kind of information I'm listening for. So keep that in mind and focus on, you know, any points or any information or any words related to what they have asked you to do in the question. Once you start picking the options, so first eliminate the wrong options, anything that's obviously wrong, that is based on information that's not there in the audio at all, or something that is logically absurd, you know, totally wrong, just eliminate those options, and then pick your final option. Uh, even after you have arrived at an option which you think is correct, please uh, make sure that you know you have reviewed all other options as well because sometimes after seeing the other options you'll find you know something that is possibly a better answer or is actually the correct answer so don't finalize your answer till the time you have had a look at all other options okay um, and um, we'll, we'll go through uh, a lot of practice you know in the different sets and we'll go about uh, seeing you know how to tackle these kind of questions one by one um, also the master class which you have already taken you know uh, in in the beginning of the course that included a lot of information on the things that you need to keep in mind all right so it, it, it it's it always helps you know to go back to that and listen to those things again and again uh, because those are the fundamentals all right so I think now you're ready to start so Please go to practice set number one and all the best.